G'day guys, it's Ben again, here to bring you another video. Today we're going to look at the rectangular cloak. Alrighty, so this is a cloak, this is a very simple item of clothing that was worn right through the whole so-called Dark Ages period. And that ranges from really the end of the Roman Empire, although arguably this cloak goes way back before and into the Roman Empire. And it goes into, I would argue, around about the 12th, 13th centuries when the rectangular cloak sort of stopped being worn as much. Although I would argue it still gets worn well into the 13th, 14th centuries. Uh, so definitely for those people who are interested in Anglo-Saxons, the so-called Vikings and Normans, that whole period of time, this is a very good item for you. It's very simple, it's very effective and it's very, uh, you know, inexpensive to make. Uh, and let's take a look. Uh, alrighty. So I've taken basically a spare piece of wool that I had and I'm actually making this for my daughter. So arguably it's going to be a little bit essentially short for me. Um, but that's okay and that would still be quite effective. The, um, the width as in the narrow length that you're seeing uh, would traditionally be the, the, the width of the loom. Uh, and then obviously the length is just depending on, on um, the, the individual and the person. So I'm lining mine with a fairly heavy duty linen today. Uh, linen was used for lining everything. The reason that I'm lining mine is because I tend to find that uh, wind chill tends to get into the woolen fabrics more so than I'd like. Uh, it can depend a lot on the wool and how it's made, but um, my experience uh, is that uh, I like to stay nice and warm and that uh, linen is really good and effective for lining uh, cloaks and so on and so that's how we're doing this one. Alrighty, so there's a whole bunch of different ways you can wear a nice rectangular cloak. You see a lot of people just throw them straight over their shoulders. And fasten them in the middle, something like this. Um, I don't necessarily think that's the best way to do it. Uh, there's some other ways we can do it, and, and this is actually reflected in history. What you need to do is you get a penanula brooch, uh, just like this. This particular one I actually got from Medieval Fight Club in Australia. And it's worn on the right shoulder. So uh, the pin just goes through both layers and then comes around just like so. Make sure the pin's pointing away from your neck. That's kind of important. Alrighty, and then what we can do is we can throw that around my shoulder. like so. And I've actually got a really good cloak and I'm going to stay nice and warm. You can secure it a bit more by tucking the um, one layer under the other and that's going to... oops. Give you a little bit more sort of security and so on. Um, I find these really good. They're really, really comfortable to wear. And if it gets really cold and really wet, then you can shuffle it around a little bit and create a bit of a hood and sort of encapsulate yourself a little bit in the cloak. All from a very simple rectangle piece of fabric. Uh, the other thing I really like about these 
is because of the, um, the opening in the cloak, and it's so simple, there's no restrictions in how you can use a weapon. It doesn't restrict you at all, and you can throw that side back and then still use a shield if you happen to have a shield on you. Um, and you can use a cloak or a cape uh, or a mantle, some other different labels for the same kind of thing. Although capes were much more really just about the back shoulders and far more of a fashion item, whereas a cloak is much more about um, a functional item to help keep you warm and protect you from the wind and the cold. Um, but I, I find these really good because there's no restrictions there at all. I can use a sword, um, I've got no issues there, I can, and if I wanted to, you can take the, uh, the pin off, take the cloak off, and then you can, you can use that, um, I guess, as, a, as, a, as part of your sort of fighting technique as well. Lots of people do, that was a much later medieval period kind of thing as far as I'm aware. I don't know how much that was used in the earlier periods, but still, what we, um, what we have here in terms of the cloak itself is, uh, is a really sort of exceptional item, and I really, really like it. So simple, so functional, um, and very cost-effective. Uh, alrighty guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll catch you in my next video.